Good day ladies and gentlemen. Let's introduce myself. My name is Andi Hassan. I am a lecturer of Electronic Department, Universitas Islam 45 Bekasi, Indonesia. I would like to share to you about material of our research at today. It's about quality optimization of data rate video streaming over Bluetooth network. At the second Borobudur International Symposium in 2020. The first time I will start about my presentation from background to the problem. Video streaming over Bluetooth network as a medium of learning at higher education in the world began in 2004. In Indonesia, it began in 2012. Unfortunately, the development of video streaming using Bluetooth network has not been used optimally in the field of higher education, especially at client server distance reaching 50 meters. This is caused by the video quality received on the client is not good and not according to Cisco standards. Bluetooth utilization is not maximal just to exchange information or data. Limited Bluetooth bandwidth and Wi-Fi interference. Separate solutions are required to resolve Bluetooth flaws. The use of appropriate audio and video compression protocols and optimization on the Viconet pervasive system. Previous empirical research of Viconet pervasive system point to point with factor loss greater than 5% not yet meets the quality of service video streaming standard lens 5%. This research proposes a solution by providing a good video quality based on optimizing the performance of video streaming data rate transmission over Bluetooth Viconet pervasive network with Android OS on the client side. The research method includes several stages of research, including Viconet pervasive Bluetooth network system analysis, system design, audio video compression, hint track, optimization, system testing, performance measurement, and analysis of measurement results, system optimization, and implementation. The first one, Piconet Pervasive Bluetooth System Analysis. The Pervasive Piconet system is a Piconet system that connects two different devices so that the existence of this different device is at this step, identification of the needs of the Bluetooth Viconet Pervasive Network System. Needs identification is based on literature studies and literature on hardware and software needed during the research. The second, system design. At this stage, prototype design and construction is carried out for Bluetooth connection from the computer server to the cellular telephone as a client. The third, audio video compression. The compression process is used to reduce the video data rate. Data must be compressed before sending it via Bluetooth network. The compressed data consists of two parts, audio video, including frame, size, frame rate, codec, audio rate, sample rate, and channels. The four, hint rate. Before the video is sent, the hint track process is first done so that the video can be run or played on the client video player. The hint track process is needed to give information to the video so that is ready to be sent and can be recognized by the client. The fifth, optimization. This stage has done when the system can work but has not yet produce the expected value based on Cisco standard video streaming TOS. Optimization on the server has done by tuning up the software to maximize performance. 
while on the client side optimization was done by minimizing running by ground while on the client side optimization was done by minimizing running background which consumes memory on cell phones the sixth system testing system testing aims to determine the ability of the bluetooth network as a video streaming media and to find out the quality of the video received on the client side the seven performance measurement the parameter used in measuring the performance of this Bluetooth network are throughput, delay, jitter, and packet loss. Measurement on these parameters use capture network traffic. Next about research result. In the research results, we can see the value of packet loss parameters of 10 has the highest value of 4.97% and the lowest of 4.88% with an average value of 4.92%. In environment that has Wi-Fi, the client server distance 50 meters, that is by doing optimization to get the best performance on the Freeconnect Fervasive system. And the graphic show, if the environment has a larger interference value, then the throughput value is smaller. If the environment has a larger interference value, then the value of the delay is greater. If the jitter value approach zero, then the Bluetooth network is more stable. If the environment has a larger interference value, then the packet loss value is greater. This is about Viconet for passive implementation, point to point and point to multi point in our university. Coba kita lihat bahwa SCR ini ini adalah bentuk asli dari SCR. Kita akan uh, ukur berdasarkan kaki-kaki yang ada di sini perhatikan oke okay. ini untuk mengukur antara kaki satu dengan kaki dua untuk melihat berapa nilai pada uh, pada kaki get dan pada kaki anoda katoda kita gunakan di bagian elektronik sehari-hari maupun di industri. Oke, okay, ada pertanyaan? Oke, okay. mengerti ya? Paham. Paham. Ladies and gentlemen, our point main material of today is about the first one, all data of delay and packet loss which was obtained in this research have met Cisco streaming video standards. Its standard maximum packet loss is 5% for data rate 0.8 megabit per second. The second, the value of packet loss parameters of chain has the highest value of 4.97. The second, the value of packet loss parameters of chain has the highest value of 4.97%. And the lowest of 4.88% with average value of 4.92%. In environment that has Wi-Fi, the client server distance 50 meters, that is by doing optimization to get the best performance of the Piconet for passive system. The results show that the greater the interference of Wi-Fi on the Bluetooth Viconet for passive network, the quality of video received by the client or mobile phone decreased, marked by the increasing value of the average packet loss of time during the video streaming. The result of this research has been implemented as a learning media in college, based on Bluetooth technology that is low power, 
low cost and easy to use. That's all. Thank you.